Alright, what is going on guys? Cole AK Proximity here bringing you a brand new video. Today I'm going to be recapping the Halo World Championship Vegas event that I was at last weekend uh, that I just got back from two days ago. Late, late two days ago, and the first thing I want to address because I know there's gonna be a thousand comments about it if I don't, because I'm not wearing a hat right now. And for the last couple months, I've been wearing a hat like in every single video. And a lot of you guys are gonna be like, "Oh, you're not wearing a hat," and you're gonna be talking about my hair and whatever. But I just wanted to make sure you guys understand before you go ahead and roast me in the comments about my hair. You gotta understand, before my hair was getting longer, people made fun of me. People made fun of my hair, and now that it is longer, people have made fun of my hair. So you really you can't win uh, from from my perspective. So you know whatever. Okay, moving on. So the event. First off, I just want to say it was a really good time. I had a good time. Um, if you guys didn't know, I attended the Halo World Championship event that was in uh, Vegas this past weekend, and uh, I went with a pickup squad that play. We played with each other like two days before the event, so like I wasn't crazy prepared for the event, and that's kind of been the way it has been for me for the last couple events that I've attended, which I don't really like doing, um, but I don't know. I get in this mood where like right as soon as the event comes up, I'm just like, oh, I really want to go, and then I'm able to get into a pickup team, and uh, well... The last year's Vegas, I went with a pickup squad, and then um, for St. Louis last year, I went, um, we weren't exactly a pickup squad, but like one of our, our, like our fourth had to leave like a week before the event, so we ended up having to pick up Big Texas, and we got like four hours of practice before the event. So it wasn't like entirely a pickup squad, but it also wasn't like a super well-practiced and conditioned squad, so I don't really like doing that, but uh, anyways, um, so we go into this event, and uh, I'm really going for the experience and the fun, and uh you know, that's just kind of the way it is. Now, laying out the event was Friday was supposed to be uh, the 4v4, and it started there. And then Saturday and Sunday was champ bracket. So if you've got top eight out of the open bracket um, in 4v4, then you get to play on the champ bracket. Now, we knew we weren't going to get that because we were just this pickup squad. So it's kind of a little disappointing knowing we're only going to get to play one day, especially the first day of the event, knowing I'll be there all weekend. Uh, but the free for all was on Saturday, so I figured I'll play in that to kind of help, you know, pass the time. And I want to play more Halo on land because it's always a lot of fun. Well, going into our first series on Friday, uh, actually, I actually want to say this real fast. With the with the venue, it was the same venue as last year's Vegas, which I didn't really like because it was really crowded. Uh, but they were doing some construction on it last year, and then this year they changed, like they they opened up to where the main stage. Uh, was in like a completely completely separate room from where all the other stations were, uh, which is pretty cool. And I want to say like the main stage itself was just I incredible. Like it was set up like a movie theater. So like where the screen would be in a movie theater uh, is where the main stage was. And the seating was exactly like a movie theater. So it was like really comfortable. And um, yeah, like it was awesome to watch matches because you could literally just, you know, kick back and relax as if you were actually in a straight up like normal movie theater. So it was, I don't know about you guys, but I find those to be pretty comfortable seating, especially for... Uh, something that I plan on watching for multiple hours. So, uh, you know, it was pretty cool. Uh, and the previous main stage from the last year was, now became the Featured Station. Uh, and that's where we played our first match. So we played Featured Station against some team. I don't really know um, what that team was or, like, who they were. I didn't know any of the players on the other team. We sat down and played them, and we won 3-0. Um, so that was pretty straightforward. I guess I should probably mention my teammates. I'll say this again. I made this in a previous video, but my teammates were Dork, Paradise, and Manzaya. Um, I teamed with Dork and Paradise for the previous Vegas event, and then Manzaya, somebody I've never teamed with before, and it was his first event. Um, so it was kind of nice. We played a team that I felt we were definitely better than for our first series, um, and it showed in the in the scores. I, I don't really remember. We had a pretty uh, pretty strong win against them. So it kind of helped him get some of his land nerves out of the way because you know he'd never played before, and so it kind of helped him out. Um, also, I feel like people are going to ask if I don't mention it. This The, the gameplay that's playing right now is just uh, some arena gameplay that Tyler and I got last night. We were just running. Uh, I was just like, yo, run a couple games with me last night so I could uh, get some footage for this. I, I don't want people to think this is like footage from the event because it isn't. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so we won our first series 3-0, and we move into the winner's bracket. And lo and behold, turns out our first match in winner's bracket is ALG, which is the pro team uh, Allegiance. And on that team is Spartan the dog, or just Spartan, I guess, at this point, commonly, it's a Spectre and Trippy. So we had a very difficult match going to our winner's racket and uh, knowing that they're a professional team and we are a pickup squad, we knew we weren't going to do very well. And, you know, we lost 3-0, and they, they won pretty handily, as they should. Um, so we dropped down to the loser's bracket, and we played another group. This was probably like a five-hour gap in between our matches. Um, it took a while before we got, because we were in loser's bracket round two, because we had won our first winner's match. Anyways, so then we waited around. We finally got a match, and we sat down. 
not playing for a while, and we're playing some kids that had just come out of Losers 1, so they won their Losers 1 match, and then they're playing us, and uh, so, you know, they're going to be a little warm, and we're like, okay, we've been sitting around, so we sit down, and there's always a little bit of, like, we're a little worried about that, but then we sat down and started playing, it was Eden Stronghold's first map, and we came out destroying, we were playing super well, uh, we had, like, a three-cap majority of the map, we were up 97 to 5, and uh, <laughs> they ended up getting a cap to stop our momentum, and they ended up pulling an entire comeback and winning the first map. We blew a 97 to 5 lead. And that was very discouraging. Uh, especially when you're playing on land and you like, it's, you know, that sucks when it happens online. Uh, there's multiple reasons why it happens, but whenever it's happening on land, you know, the people are sitting directly across from you and it's just kind of like embarrassing. And you have like a bunch of people standing around watching. Uh, you know, we weren't on main stage or anything, but like there was a crowd of people watching and like they saw it all happen. So it's like, that sucks, you know? Um, but anyways, so we lost map one. It's a best of five series. Uh, but of course, you know, we know we still just got to win three maps and they still have to win two more. So we decide, you know, and try to just move on to the next map, shake it off. No big deal. Uh, we go into the second map. I, I can't remember exactly what map it was. I think it was Plaza Slayer, I want to say. Uh, we ended up winning that map. Um, I can't remember the scores of that. Then it was Coliseum Flag, which we ended up winning. Um, and then we played uh, the Rig Stronghold or... Pretty sure it's the Rig Strongholds, and we lost that one. Um, and then we went into, or maybe it was Plaza Holds. It's really not important. We lost both Strongholds. Then we went into Game 5, which is Eden Slayer. Uh, we played really well. We actually maintained control the entire game of all power weapons and stuff. We had a strong start, and we had we ended up like 13-2 right off the rip, and then we kept like a 10-point lead the entire game. So we ended up winning the Game 5, thankfully. We, we won that series, which put us into the top 32. Um, and then we played a completely beatable team, I don't think that they were significantly better than us, and it really didn't show. We had some close matches, uh, but we ended up just losing 3-0. I think that the problem was, I'm really not sure. We just, I guess we just kind of ran out of gas. That's what I said whenever we lost, uh, I tweeted that. You know, we were just making some minor mistakes, and uh, I feel like we were playing really slow. It's kind of weird. I would have thought we would have come out like with a lot of momentum after that previous series, because there was no break in between that. We literally stayed on the same station, and we just started getting into it. And uh, I don't know. We just played really slow and reserved and kind of not like ourselves, and we ended up losing that Series 3-0. Uh, so that's where our tournament ended there, which it is what it is, you know. Uh, we went there for fun, and we got top 32, which I think we definitely could have done better. But even if we would have won that match, we would have ended up playing Velvet Gaming, which is a pretty strong AM team. They had the number two open bracket seed. So I definitely think that they probably would have beat us considering they're, you know, uh, they've been teaming for a while and we were a pickup squad. So it looks like our tournament life is going to be ending pretty soon. But uh, another team there was Samaritan's team, who was a member of Chaotix, a very good friend of mine. Uh, and that team was uh, Justin or Samaritan, Clips, Hype Train, and Halo Master 7, uh, coached by Big Texas. They ended up getting top 24, and I was really, really proud of them. They did super well, especially because... Um, uh, Hype Train, Eclipse, and Halo Master 7's first 4v4 LAN was that event. So getting top 24 uh, for them was super, super good. Uh, they won game 5 in their match for top 24, and then they were playing a pretty strong team, G4C, uh, for uh, top 16, and I watched that series. They were all close matches. I think they lost the flag 3-1, but they actually almost made it 2-2. Uh, before the G4C team got the return, and then they counter-capped. So it was 3-1 for the flag, but it definitely was closer than that really suggested. They lost the Slayer by one kill, 50-49, and then they lost the Strongholds, I think, 100, like 70-something. Um, so pretty solid matches there. They just couldn't quite get it done, uh, but they almost got top 16, so I was really happy for them. They did really well, especially for the some of those guys being uh, their first land, you know. And that was the 4v4 for us, at least. Um, you know, could have gone better, but... It is what it is. Uh, but moving into the free-for-all, I wanted to talk a little bit about this. I was pretty upset about the format of it, and I tweeted about this as soon as it happened. Um, <clears throat> basically, I want to try to keep this short because I don't want to talk too long. Uh, um, this video is already like 10 minutes long. But uh, the free-for-all format was basically you stand in a line, a big line. Everybody that signs up for the free-for-all, which is $25, you go stand in this giant line, and then you go sit down at the stations. Like They, they put six people on each station. I think there's like four stations. Um, and the top three who win the game, so like first, second, third, stay, and then fourth, fifth, sixth, go and get back in line. Um, so that's that seems like a fair reason. Then you play and you play and you play, and if you get so many points, because there's like three points for a win, two points for a second, one point for third, something like that. If you get so many points, then you end up getting placed in the top 24, and the top 24 overall players who played get to play in the finals on Sunday. 
Uh, so then they would just do quarter semis finals. That's how they would do it. Um, so four, four groups of six players. Uh, that's what they wanted to do. That's how they were going to do it. Um, here's the problem. I get in line. I just bought my pass. I get in line. I stand there for 45 minutes. I get on a station. I play against people who have been playing for 45 minutes straight. I haven't played, right? So this was Saturday. I hadn't played since Friday when I got eliminated. Uh, so I get in line. I stand there for 45 minutes. I go sit down against people who have been sitting there playing for 45 minutes and they haven't got off the station. And uh, I came in fifth place, which was disappointing but it was also disappointing because I had most damage dealt in the lobby and the most assists. And so, like, yeah, free for all doesn't run on that way. Like, you have to get the most kills. But it was kind of one of those games where everything was getting ripped from me, which is really frustrating to put up with. Um, but that's part of free for all, you know. But the thing that sucks is, like, I came in fifth, and then the guy comes over afterwards. And he goes, okay, you came in fifth. So if you want to play some more, just get back in line. And I was like, hmm, do I want to stand in line for another 45 minutes to just – like, I didn't get any warm-up. So I sat down. I played one game, eight minutes. Uh, and then, and then I went and it wasn't even like, uh, the tournament, like, you know, truth only BR starts, something like that. No, no, no. It was like, there's three maps. There's, uh, truth, regret and mercy. And it was matchmaking rules. So like there was a plasma caster on the, on the, on the map and all sorts of other stuff. And it was weird. You just played for eight minutes. Um, and it was really slow paced and like everybody's crouching around with their like cheeky weapons. Like the person who came in first had 17 kills, you know, like in eight minutes, it's not very many kills. So it's like. I uh, just, it was not fun, and I did not want to do that, so then I just went and sat and watched main stage matches all day, and then I came back at the end of the day, and there was basically no line, I came back to check on my buddy, uh, Brett, who was, like, grinding it out, and I went to go check on it, and, uh, <clears throat> I decided to play another one, and then, like, I sat down, and I won that one, and, uh, then I was just like, I don't want to do this, the guy was like, oh, you can stay, but I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to, like, it's just, like, a stupid system, and, like, I would have to, like, do so much catching up, um, because of the fact that, like, I was behind on points, and I don't know. It was just a weird way it was run. And then on Sunday, there was extra hours that you could have played to get more points that only half the people knew about because they only told some people. I know some people sat down just to try to play, like, some, some like, scrims and just, like, money eights, but then they realized that the free throw was still going on. So not only was it, like, a poor format, um, but it was a poor setup. Uh, like, they didn't communicate properly with people, and it was, I don't know, man. I just didn't really like it. Nobody was seemed really happy with it, Uh I personally prefer the way it was last time where it would be just predetermined groups of six people and it ran in heats and you played two maps with that group of six and then they combined your scores from the two maps and then the top three players out of each would advance. That seems like the most logical way to do it. And even once they had the top 24 on Sunday, it was a one and done. So it was just, you know, okay, here, here you go. Like, here's the group. I had a couple friends that made it to top 24, and uh, they just, you know, they had a bad first map, and that's done. They're done. And, you know, that free-for-all really is, like, you can have a really good map, and you can have a really bad map, uh, and it kind of goes either way. That's why I kind of like having two maps, because it kind of gives you a chance to, like, redeem yourself if you played poorly the first one, and maybe average your scores to where you can advance. I don't know. I didn't really like the way that was run. A lot of people seemed pretty unsatisfied. Uh, so that's how it goes. But, uh, yeah, I just want to give a little recap on this. I know a lot of you guys are curious. And uh, I said I was going to do it, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will continue on making videos for just normal stuff going forward. I don't really know what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, please roast my hair in the comments. Uh, see you guys later.